We're at the site of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. A lot of people feel that this is the actual place where Christ was buried and where he was resurrected. It's considered to be one of the most holy sites in all Christendom. But is this the place? There are two places in Jerusalem that are traditionally held to be the places where Christ was crucified and where he rose from the grave. Uh, the, the, the places that we're, that we're really focused in on is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I wrote two books about this place. I did about eight and a half years research on traditions in the church history, as you know. Why do people claim that this is the place where Christ was crucified? Quite simply, visions and dreams. Constantine, the Emperor of Rome, had over 70 visions and dreams. He sent his mother over to find the cross. Helena came here and said, in this general area here is where Christ was crucified. And she put it out and said, look, can someone please help me and find where these crosses are? A guy named Judas steps forward, not the Judas of relating to Christ, but that was a common name, Jewish guy. He said, I know where it is. He came over here and they dug up three crosses here. And they said, which one is that of Jesus? So they found a woman who is quite ill they took the worst cross over, they laid it gently over her, nothing. The second cross over her, nothing. The third cross over her, and she got up and was healed. That obviously was the cross of Christ. What's happened to that cross since then? Well, almost every church you see in Europe has a piece of the cross of Christ. Even though it was lost in battle, we don't know where it went. Calvin said jokingly, there's enough wood from the cross of Christ to build a Spanish galleon. Everything is predicated on one major thing, is that if you do not get where the temple is located correctly, all these other things are gonna be futile.